Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, one of the things that I wanted to talk about here, you know, now that it's Pride Month again, you know, it was one of the shows that I wish they would have brought back as Aquarius Folk because it was one of my favorite shows at the time. Yeah? You know? Just dealing with a lot of interesting issues at that point, you know, at that time, you know. But I think I'll probably go into more details about it uh, some other time, you yeah. know. So, anyways, um, I was thinking of this one uh, game gone home because of this one YouTuber they were called the Gamer Pops and one of the guys was playing part of the game uh, Gone Home which was supposed to be more like an interactive puzzle type game and one of the whole stories was the, the main character Katie was visiting home while everybody was gone and was reading all these different journal entries from a, her sister Sam and then later on it was like Sam had gotten close with this one girl named Lonnie you know and in a way there was a point later on where it's like her parents had, had found out about Sam and Lonnie and they were kind of not necessarily disappointed they were just you know in denial of all of it you know that sort of thing you know about saying that, that she was just too young and that and that maybe it was just a phase and Maybe she hadn't found the right boy yet, or whatever it was. And in a way, that was kind of one of the reasons why I didn't come out at 16, you know, although I felt like I should have, you know, but it was also bad timing on that part, you know, because right after I turned 16, there was that whole uh, death of. of uh, What's his name? Antonio Versace. And then the whole thing with Andrew Cunanan. That was a thing there. Yeah. And then there was, of course, that murder of uh, Matthew Shepard. Was another thing there. And there was a lot of other reasons why I had... uh, Had... uh, Stayed in the closet until I was... 22 at that point you know so i'm not really going to go into details about that sort of stuff there you know what i mean so anyways as far as that goes you know it'll be like 18 years since i've been out you know around i think I think it was like the second or the third week of August when I finally had said I'm gay to myself. You know, as far as that goes. And when I finally had said to myself I was in this, um, uh, in this hotel and, and, uh, Austin, Texas, there, yeah, so that was like the whole process there, but it was like, for me, that whole entire year was me kind of coming out and coming of age at that point, you know, and then finally like figuring out what it is I really like at that point, what if I just like the V and the D, but then I realized it's just the D that I liked, 
at that point. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, as far as that goes, the whole thing, I think it was by the end of the year, I think most of the family knew at some point or another, you know, not at least as far as with most of, like, my mom's family, as far as just my aunts and my uncles, but but everybody else, you know, they had pretty much had no idea, you know, at that point. Yeah. So, anyways, that was like the thing I kind of have to mention about this sort of stuff here. As far as that goes. But, it was one of the things that I kind of going to say here is like if I was like rejected by my mom and dad I probably would have had like one of my aunts and uncles like take me in as far as that goes and in the same vein it, you know my old best friend's parents could have also took me in at some point or another you know because as far as the whole story goes is like my old best friend, he has an uncle who was gay, and he dated the guy that wrote Scream, as far as that goes. Yeah. And then, I forgot what happened there at that point. Yeah, you know, because the, the whole story was, was uh, my old best friend's brother had told him while he was drunk you know but in a way I'm not the only one in the family that's gay as far as that goes because then my mom had like two cousins that were gay and then one of them had died of AIDS and then the other one, I think I had met him a while ago. Yeah. You know, and then mom had mentioned that she had like another cousin that was a lesbian. Yeah. You know? And I think mom had stated that one of my kids' cousins might be a lesbian, but it might be just you know, questioning kind of thing, you know, but that's just neither here nor there, you know, as far as that goes, but when it comes to this sort of thing, I'm certain that there's more people, like, in my family that might be LGBTQ as far as that goes. Yeah. But considering all that, you know, we kind of came a long way as far as all that stuff there, you know, because like it was, you know, about 15 years ago was we were still in the major fight about all this sort of stuff there, you know. And then it would be almost like, you know, 15 years, you know, since like, you know, Prop 8 and all that. You know what I mean? So, that's just something that I'm going to have to mention at this point. So, anyways, I think I have to kind of cut this sort of thing short because, you know, I really have to head back home, you know, to handle some unfinished business, if you know what I mean. So, anyways, I guess that's probably it, so talk to you guys later.